Hi guys, sorry for the glare here, let me move these things. Uh, today I want to share with you a new collection that was launched on Spellbinders and a few other, you know, um, sites that do carry Spellbinders items. It's the uh, Simon Hurley uh, Snow Globes collection <laughs> by Simon Hurley, or Simon Snow Globes I suppose is what it's called. Um, I want to show you what's in it, at least the items that I have for review, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what we're going to do today. So, um, these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. Uh, you might have seen it launched in early October. Um, what happens is you have this, the, the main set, which would be this here with the snow globes, you have a little village, you have like a little snow line, you have obviously this, you know, the globe part, the uh, base, uh, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Jingle Bells, Merry and Bright are the words that go with that. It has a little Santa, you know, pulling with the uh, reindeer pulling the sled there. Um, sleigh, did I say sled? Anyway, so we have the little houses, accents for your houses. You have, oh my gosh, the cutest little lamp post, you guys, adorable. Uh, top, you know, uh, the roof for your house, and then even accents for your roof, and you have like little trees that are all like uh, embossed and things. Just a lot of um, sort of detail in those. Uh, I will say on Spellbinders, this is currently sold out. Maybe by the time you're watching it, they might have it back in stock. They did have a one and all bundle that is gone also, so they do have some of the other portions. They might be other places. Like I said, I usually link to like scrapbook and Scrapbook Pal, maybe Simon Says has it, you know, it just depends um, wherever uh, Spellbinder sent them, right? So we have that, so that's the main die set. And then you have like add-ons, and I love the add-ons because they also have uh, their own little words, which is really sweet. So um, let's say this one here, this is the woodland scene, adorable, I love the stags. You have your stags or deer, you can do whatever you like with them because the little uh, antlers are separate. We have like a little silhouette bunny here, we have some trees that have some accent to them, so if you want to do just the tree like that, but if you want to do a layer with this piece cut out, then you have some double layered trees. So a lot of texture and a lot of um, detail for things that are even, you know, this small. You have the little stumps. Um, it looks like that's probably the moon. Yep. Uh, birch, all kinds of different birch, um, I guess trees <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Uh, here we have winter wishes, peace, love, joy. Again, this little area and the way it's bowed is to go with this. I suppose you could just use it if you like, just like that. Again, it comes with another snow. So if you have both of them, you have different ways of doing your snow. So there's that one. And then this is a nativity scene. So just really, just amazing and really sweet. Let me put it up here. Um, what I love about this is I was putting it on my board here to show you guys is, so this is the nativity stuff right here. Um, you have your palm trees, you have, you know, your uh, manger, I guess the stable, what's it called? It has a name for this one. I always forget whenever I come on here. Um, you have like little hay or whatever tufts that go on top of the uh, stable there. So you have those portions, you have this one, you have your... Um, star here we have uh joseph and mary there and then the baby and the baby and they have you know texture and like embossing the baby is you know just this portion but he has all kinds of pieces to make it to flesh it out so you have your little manger area then you have like the little um straw that might be sticking out of here right so you do the straw and then you pop this on top of that that on top of this and then even the baby has different portions to him so the little belly could be different from like the head the little body right so a lot of detail in these little guys and then you even have your little shepherd hook here oh my goodness and then we have silent night and oh holy night are the words that can be dropped in there uh, the collection also has a glimmer um, set here and I love it again it does all at once and then you cut them out so we have our sentiments the wonderful winter sentiments something like this I still have some here from another plate set that had come out um, that I believe Simon had done so like this so you do them all at once and then even the d the die that cuts them out has shape so it's right on the words instead of just like being like a label shape or something like that and so we have all these great things um have a holly jolly christmas let it snow sending warm winter wishes oh holy night it's the most wonderful time of the year and santa claus is coming to town are all on there and then you have the die so this is a glimmer plate and then you cut it with your die um i just have them layered on top of each other like that even though it's probably going to be like this when you receive it 
but it does sit on there, so there you go. Um, oh, and then we have some embossing folders. So we have the Geo Quilt embossing folder that is in a 3D embossing folder. Again, it's enlarged, eight and a half by five and a half. So the, the folder um, itself is eight and three quarters by five and three quarters, and I'm hopefully you can see what's going on there. I love that as I'm turning it, you can see the different pieces. I think it's gonna be amazing once it's run through with some paper. Um, I have another quilt design from um, Spellbinders that has like, a little tufts of quilt and then it just looks amazing and everyone loves it so it sells out and it comes back and it sells out and it comes back because it's such a really nice um, design. This one is uh, just your little snow flakes and I want to make sure I have the name of this guy. Oh, hold on. Why am I, oh it's this way. There's a few different uh, embossing folders. Sparkling snow. And this one is your standard yeah, embossing folder, speaking, because, so um, hello, E3D. So it's a 3D embossing folder. I don't know why I thought it was a standard embossing folder. Um, so, and I opened up, I can feel that these are round, and I'm like, oh no, I misspoke. So, again, embossing folder, 3D, um, same sizing as the other guy with all the little snow. Really cute. I love the little dots of snow. That's really adorable. And then, like, the little glimmers there. Gorgeous. And then this guy, um, you know, like I said, this was released in October. And I'm glad I held off just a little bit because um, I don't believe this was on there when it first released. So this right here is the Playful, bleh, Playful Poinsettia uh, 3D embossing folder and die set. So this one, you have the 3D embossing folder. It's gorgeous. We love poinsettias. I mean, look at everything that's on here. I love the little poinsettia leaves that are there, the little like berries here and there. Um, it's gorgeous. Adorable. Then you, it comes with a die. If you guys remember, I did one with the, um, I want to say it was called Holly, like, border um, set, where it had a border set, and then it had an area up here where you do your um, embossing, but it also came with a little, like, uh, embossing, or, sorry, cutting die that will cut, like, an edge for you if you wanted. So with this one, it cuts, I believe, this specific flower. As you can see, this one's completely there. This one's a little bit cut off there. This is a little more organic. This one's obviously smaller. It's this guy. So, um, what happens is, and let me see if I can, uh, maybe that way, yeah, there we go. You can cut this from paper and then match it up in here and then run it through and now that piece of paper that you just die cut and that shape will have that awesome poinsettia look to it. So um, I didn't realize, you know, I had this here and now it is part of the collection and I would love to use this today and then maybe we'll follow up with some of the snow globe items, especially since this one is sold out right now. Let's maybe focus on some of these other things and then we'll get back to the traditional you know, snow globes of it all. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to use this guy with the die um, and then just to make it simple, we're, we'll run this guy through the glimmer so we have some sentiments and we'll put a card together that way and then I'll follow up with other tutorials uh, in the future, okay? So let me bring out the glimmer. Um, it's just right here. Always, It's always just right here. And I just need to turn it on and then we will get going. So what I need to do is also go grab some foil. And um, again, the glimmer, you just flip it on there. And once it says platform ready, that light is green, you are ready to foil. And so what I'm going to do is leave this here. I'm going to grab some paper, some foil, and we'll get started. In the meantime, while that's warming up, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just cut down some of this green paper. Um, just to matte layer my card base. And so I'm going to do a standard A2 size card. So I'm going to cut this down to 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths. And then I'll just take that and run it through the embossing folder our 3D embossing folder. So that's very basic, very simple. Um, and then I'll go ahead and cut out a few of these on this red metallic paper. So one there, maybe I'll have two or three, maybe three of them when I come back. Okay, I'm just gonna run those through and then I'll show you how I'm going to get the embossed look on these guys, okay? I'll be right back. some black paper here because I want to do my sentiments on that. I think it'll really just pop. Um, I did cut down my foil 
just about the length of this. Unfortunately, if it goes on this way, you know, the width of the roll, it's just a little bigger than that. I mean, you can probably get it on there, but I didn't want to challenge myself in that way. So I just cut it in the other direction. And generally, I try to keep it as close to the foil, to the plate, so you don't have a lot of overfoiling. If that happens to be a problem you might have. So I'm just going to cut it here, cut the excess away. All right. And I always like to build up my sandwich here, but you know, whatever it is you like. If you are building it up off of the glimmer, you're going to put your paper, your glimmer with the pretty side facing up, and then or your foil, and then this guy, right? And I'm putting it right in the center because I do have a die that we're going to use in just a minute. And then I just tape it down. Now, if you want to build it up on your platform here, you're going to have to do the plate facing up, like the words or whatever your image facing up. The, silver, the foil with the silver side looking at you, and then your paper with the nice side facing down. So it's basically like this, right? Upside down. Uh, so I'm going to pop it here. I like to put the plates on top right now. You don't have to do that. You know, Spellbinders, they just let it warm up and then they put their plates, or they just let the, the plate, the foil plate by itself warm up and then they put on the um, foil once it's ready. So whatever you like to do, okay? So for me, I just press the timer and let that go through. And I only made two, actually I'm using, um, sorry guys, I didn't mention, matte gold. And so again, with the glimmer, you just press the button and wait. You know, I'm wondering, hmm, well, they are kind of thick. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'll see if we can run this through and just have the impression. I think I've done that long ago. You roll it through with like the rubber mat, and that way um, it gives you an impression like on metallic paper, and then you sell the dies to cut out the wording. That might be something fun to try. Um, so I just made two flowers because I think we'll have one full one, and then this one, I can just cut it, you know, after you roll it through, just. I'll have two more pieces that I can just kind of play with or put in the corner, whatever it is you want to do. So I just have two. I'll show you how to get the shape on that in just a minute. So I'll let this go until it shows me that it's you know not blinking anymore and we'll run it through. Oh, actually it just did that right now. A lot of times I like to still give it another few seconds as you know you see right now as I'm talking. Okay, let's pop this out. How long did that take guys? We were just chatting and it finished up so. And we'll roll this guy through slowly, but surely. I just like to get that there. If you're going to keep uh, foiling, you can definitely um, put this back into the, the um, housing there. And let's see what we have. Looking pretty good. That. Okay, I'm gonna let that uh, cool down and then we'll roll it through and get the individual sentiments. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and just place this on here. I think that's where it goes. Yep. And I'm eyeballing this. Um, just paying attention left and right. How the words look centered, you know, up and down. Because um, just the slightest little, like, turn or movement, you know, might look better than if it was just whatever you first laid down, I don't know. And when I put my tape, I put the tape so it does not touch the foiling because we don't want to pull that up. I'm going to run that through and then we'll run through our poinsettias to get that texture on them. There's so this guy. It has so many like cut lines, cut lines, cut lines. Kind of feels like dip, 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 as you're going through. Look at that, gorgeous. I mean, that's pretty spot on right there. Oh, I love the way they look when the line is right on the shape of the lettering. You know, so pretty. Okay, so now I have all these to play with, and then upcoming videos, and also in our card here. I'm gonna switch this out for my universal plate system for the 3D embossing folder, and so hear that. Let's take our flowers. I'll do them both the same way. So if we look at this big flower, we're just looking to see where this, it looks like, should go. I was going to say it looks right there, but yeah. So in here, I'm just placing it there, as you can see. Pretty good. You're just trying to get the little shape on there. If you're a little bit off, it's not a big deal. So there's that. I'm going to slide my fingers out. 
this in here. And slide it through. And I'll do both of them the same way. It looks so pretty already just by itself there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, I'll do the same thing for the second one. So I have a standard A2 size card base here that's eight and a half by five and a half score to four and a quarter if you're making your own. And I mean, I have this set up like this. You could, you know, do it this way. I mean, there's lots of, look how pretty that is. And you would have this guy down here and then, you know, whatever it is you like. But I'm going to do it this way. I'm not sticking that down quite yet in case, I'm not 100% sure what I was gonna do here. I guess we can just stick this down. It goes something like, where does that go? There. I mean, that's like the perfect, yeah, okay. So I'll just glue that down and then we'll have the other thing popped up. Uh, the reason I haven't glued it down yet to the base is because I wasn't sure if I was gonna put this on here and then cut it with scissors or cut it with a trimmer or go ahead and just cut it now, like straight, and then just find a place that I think that looks good. Then we can definitely just glue it down. You can leave it kind of the way it is where it wants to stick up a little bit to get more texture or even some areas up while some are down. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, a lot of times I like to play with the dimensional um, glues so then I have a little dimension even if it was flat in some areas and then maybe up. Maybe. Yeah, that's what we'll do. How about these guys can be kind of more up. So um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just glue this base down then. Oh, look at the back side. I never forgot to share that. Lovely. I don't know how I got glue that just <laughs> came out. Okay, so I'm gonna place this here. Place it on top just for now. And this guy I'll just take over here. You can just cut it with a scissor. I'm going to, hmm. Let's cut it like right here. I want it to look organic and fun if I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so now we have two of these guys that we can place in different areas. That's kind of what I was thinking of, just popping it in somewhere like that. This one much bigger. I like the way that looks. And this little guy. Well, let's see. Uh, most of the time of the year. I'm sending warm winter wishes. Ooh, I like that. Maybe this guy can be up a little more like this. You can do that there. Nah. <laughs> That'd be cute. And maybe this one would pop up on dimensionals. And okay. So I'm gonna put dimensionals on here. And these are kind of lower profile dimensionals that I have. And I'll put dimensionals on the back of the poinsettia at the top. This guy. And this guy we're just going to glue down. So I can do that right now. Or again, a mix of dimensionals and just being glued. Put some glue up there. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that guy down. And when I come back, I'll have dimensionals on the back of this with the carriers removed. I just kept a little weight on this guy. And... Uh, looks good. Let's see if it looks nice and straight. It does not. <laughs> Let's go up a little bit higher here. Okay. And this guy has a ton of dimensionals. I know. There you go. Okay, right on the edge of that green paper. And that is our card, guys. Lovely, quick, easy. I am in love with the idea of like just having specific areas of that 3D embossing folder to you know do this with. Lovely, lovely. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links in the description box. I'll have images coming up, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.